I like today's mods easy loading palette on console. Hello everybody, Yelsa Farmer here. Welcome to my channel and this test of the palette add-on by DD Mod Passion. I really like the way we console players also now getting more and more auto load functions when I started this game uh, only three months ago I read a lot about uh, console players that auto loading palettes that was impossible due to some script that PC players only could have uh, but now the last couple of days uh, in fact just today we have gotten two auto load um, palettes, the one for La Coronella and also today we got this one, the palette add-on now this one also requires that we have the CSZ package installed and I'll also show you where to find these ones because it can be a little bit tricky at least it was for me, I had a lot of fiddling around and the mod itself is only 0 0.7 megabyte so if you go into palettes these are the standard in-game ones and I have I have too many palettes so I did a lot of uh, failing on this uh, last 10-15 minutes but you have to read the mod hub properly, Yelsa. Uh, because if you see in the mod hub, you can identify these palettes in the shop with the tag CSZ pack. So I didn't find that, but if you look on the down menu on the page here, where you see 2000 liter, two slots, and what it can actually take. If you see on the on the right side of that screen that's empty so if I scroll over to this one you can see now it's tagged with CS set pack so then we got a new set of in-game palettes with CS set pack or well, I actually got two two sets here also CS set pack the same palettes and the same goes for big bags here are the standard in-game ones so if we scroll over here then you can see on the bottom right see a set pack so uh, like I said you need to have the CSA pack with all the different tools on it so let's try it out and also what you can do with this pallet fork it, if you press L1 and X it says disable the collision of the fork so let's activate that or disable it I mean so once you drive to the pallet you get this one up attached with X and there you go Drive through the trailer, maybe we can drop it from here. Just press X again. So, this simplifies a lot of uh, loading and offloading pallets. Maybe we can get it all the way from here. There we go. but you just have to make sure that you have the right pallet you have the right pallet fork uh, I did have some problems with detaching the pallet fork afterwards you need to unfold ah. I 
I struggled also with this a little bit earlier that I cannot detach the pilot fork after using it. We need to unfold the tool. That's this one. Now let's move to the front one. It won't. We have to be on the tractor, no? So let's... I'll just try a little bit out of the camera and I come back. Yeah, so I think I found out the reason why I couldn't disconnect is because I... Disabled the collision, so if we go into L1 and X now you have disabled the collision, that means that you can run through things with it, like this. Uh, but then you won't be able to disconnect it. So if you press L1 and X again to activate the collision, bam, then you can disconnect it. So, it says in mod up that this will work with more or less all the pallet forks in the CS setback except the double one. Let's disable collision here. Let's see if this one works. Yes. And let's remember to like this. This one works. And let's just test the double one. So this is the one that shouldn't work. This one you cannot either di disable collision or anything. So with this one you don't get the trigger up to attach. So the double fork does not work. And also I have put up some ordinary pallets over here. So just let's double check that that it it's not working on these ones, so let's do the same, we disable the collision, it won't collide but it won't connect either, because this is the, the normal in-game pallet, and this is the in-game big bag. So there we go, and uh, for those who haven't used this one, this is my top 3 mod, that's also part of the uh, CSX pack, which is the big bag handler. Wait, can I pick it up? Ooh! What? I have <laughs> I've never tried this before. So are we getting strongman also now on console? go so uh, the next mod for today on the 8th of September 2020 is a small thing called the lizard hydrant this one you will find on the placeables and miscellaneous and yeah, I have too much uh, there we go the lizard hydrant, 300 euros, 5 euros a day, and this requires two slots. The water station can supply you water tanks with fresh water. So I was thinking about actually keeping this one on my test mapper. So let's just place it here, I guess. Bam, like that, and then let's drive over and try to fill it up. I can go on this 
size we can actually see it, maybe. There we go. Stop filling. And there we go. We got water in our tank. Even with sound effect. Really nice. Not not taking up that much space. So I see it's floating a little bit in the air, but anyway. Let's do like this. Smooth it around here. glitch there but anyway I'll take it so the next mod that I'm going to test today is the auto load IT runner platform for pallets and this will suit me at least very good it's by Shaba FS modding he's also the one that made the uh, La Coronella map and I'm playing there on a let's play now uh, and this one you will find under I think it was tools and miscellaneous do, do, do. there we go auto load platform for pallets La Coronella 3600 to buy 10 slots you need the IT runner 2633 or I assume you can also use a hook load and it can take 16,000 liters so that's 8 pallets I assume this one will take cheese let's see cheese flour sunflower oil and wood planks and the other one will take liquid fertilizer, herbicide, diesel and water and it also looks like it's taking yeah diesel yeah so uh, we have similar like this for eggs and wool pallets so I really like the that it's going the right way for all sorts of console players uh, getting auto loaders for pallets uh, with this one you can choose the color and you have to set your configuration now it's a cheese and there's a little sign on the front there and then you can change it to flour uh, sunflower oil boards wooden boards and I guess diesel and cheese ah that's the other one my bad this one that's for your liquids liquid fertilizer herbicide and diesel and water what do you need water wow okay so what I need to do then is I have to go out here from no man's land I'm going back into my let's play on La Cornilla I know I have full pallets of flour at the flour mill and I'll test that one and maybe I'll test the other one also for water or diesel I need liquid fertilizer for my spreader so I'll test that one so see you at La Coronella so I'm back at my home map the La Coronella I'm at the shop I've leased the IT runner 2633 uh, I don't I'm not gonna go too crazy on this map with buying things because 
this is my let's play map and I don't have uh, unlimited with uh, cash so let's go in to where were these uh, miscellaneous and we'll find the new autoload platform for pallets here only 3600 and I think I'm just gonna lease this one also if it works I'm gonna buy it it's really cheap it's only 3600 and it's 183 to lease so let's just lease oh but da -la -la -la. I need to now it's on cheese so just make sure you have to choose the correct product so I need flower there we go oh, don't touch let's just keep it that color lease it okay so there we go Oh, there we go and now let's just check on my flower mill here is it I think I have four oh, I have three pallets full of flour so let's I'll just drive the tractor up there and see how they're loading and afterwards we'll find a place to sell them <laughs> now if they just jump into the pallets hopefully there we go really nice well at least one of them I drive like this maybe Do we have 
5,000 liters of flour. So let's. Oh, I have something. Uh, oh, I have more here. Yeah. There we go. I knew I had some more. <laughs> nice. Now I get full load, I guess. More or less. 13,000. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, of course, there's the back wheel on the IT runner. is going up. Uh, this is a mod that I can live with. I'll take this one. <laughs> so the next thing now is of course when I do a let's play to test out the sunflower oil mill factory and also the wooden board factory. 37,000 really nice so I have to buy this one so thank you for watching and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber if you have something on your mind please leave a comment bye bye